from hidden symbols and animals to the true meaning of the Eye of Providence. Today we look at 10 mind-blowing secrets in U.S. dollars. Number 10. Loaded with Latin. Everything sounds more regal and official when it is put into Latin. When the Founding Fathers were orchestrating the beginnings of the United States, they not only knew this, but they also wanted to set a high standard, as they were attempting to be the first true republic in hundreds of years. One of the ways to do this, and to also pay tribute to the Roman and Greek republics of the past, was by incorporating Latin phrases into our currency. Needless to say, they went all out with this concept in the dollar bill, as if you take a quick glance at it, you will see several American mottos in Latin. Around what has become a highly recognizable symbol to Americans, the Eye and Pyramid, known as the Eye of Providence, there are two such phrases. Above it is the phrase, Annuit Coeptus, which translates to, He approves of our undertakings. Underneath the pyramid is the phrase, Novus Ordo Seclorum, which translates to a new order of the ages, which is believed to be referring to the establishment of a new type of government, though one could see how theorists believe this points to the new world order. In the banner that is the beak of the eagle on the back, you may recognize the Latin phrase, e pluribus unum, which means one from many, and is talking about the 13 colonies coming together to form one nation. The last bit of Latin on the dollar bill isn't a phrase, but a date. It is kind of hard to spot at first, but if you look closely at the base of the pyramid, you will see the Roman numerals MDCCLXXVI, which represents the year 1776, the year the Declaration of Independence was signed. Number nine, something's missing. There have been a lot of theories and mysteries involving other bills than just the $1 bill, and one of them involves the $5 bill. Theorists have been quick to point out that in the picture of the Lincoln Memorial on the back of the bill, only 26 states are listed, whereas there should be 48. This is how many states there were when the monument was constructed. People have been quick to jump to the conclusion that the number 26, or the names of the states listed, must mean something bigger in the grand scheme of things. But the truth is, on the actual memorial in Washington, D.C., the other states are listed on the sides. So that's why they can't be seen on the five. Number eight, hidden critters. This curious aspect of the $1 bill isn't as easy to debunk as some of the theories revolving around U.S. currency. If you look extremely closely, and we mean magnifyingly glass close, outside of the top left part of the ornate border that surrounds the number one on the right side of the bill, you will see an odd-looking figure. Some say that the image is of a skull, and some say it is a spider. But the most common thing that people think it is, is an owl. What is the significance of this hidden critter? Well, as it turns out, the owl is considered to be one of the main symbols of the Freemasons, the secret and powerful brotherhood that many of the Founding Fathers are believed to have belonged. The Freemasons believe that the owl represents reincarnation because they are nocturnal and according to legends, owls contain the souls of people who have passed away who are waiting until morning to find a new body. Though less fantastical, they have also long been symbols of wisdom the pursuit of which is a common theme in Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Number seven, money makings. One secret that you probably weren't aware of lies in what material the dollar bill is actually made out of. You may have wondered how something made out of paper can withstand so much wear and tear over the years and not disintegrate like normal paper would. Well, this is because US paper currency isn't made out of paper at all. Rather a combination of 75% cotton and 25% linen, which gives it a superior durability to plain old paper. These bills are also required to have red and blue fibers woven into the tight fabric for added security. The average dollar bill lasts around six years, 
whereas if it were made of paper, it probably wouldn't last more than a year under the conditions our money experiences. Number six, letter code. Unless you are completely oblivious to what you are putting in your wallet, you have probably noticed the circular stamp looking marking with a letter inside of it on the dollar bill. This is the Federal Reserve seal and the letter inside of it represents the reserve bank that ordered the bill. The number next to the seal, called the Federal Reserve District number, also corresponds to this bank. There are 12 of these banks across the country and each of them represents a different region of the country. If you see a letter A and the number one, that means the bill was ordered by the bank in Boston. If you see the letter L and the number 12, the bill was ordered by the bank in San Francisco. Number five, lucky 13. Beyond just the Federal Reserve seal and district number, the dollar bill is chock full of numbers and letters, making it the focal point of many theories from numerologists. One aspect of the bill that can be agreed on by these numerologists and historians is the fact that the Founding Fathers were obsessed with the number 13. Though there are theories that say otherwise, there is a fairly obvious reason for the fascination. There were 13 original colonies. When studying a dollar bill, you can start to see that not only did the designer of the bill want the 13 colonies represented in our currency, they wanted to hit people over the head with the number. In the Great Seal, the number 13 is referenced in seven different ways. On the shield, in front of the eagle, there are 13 horizontal and 13 vertical stripes. In the eagle's talons, it is clutching an olive branch with 13 berries and 13 arrows. Above the eagle's head are 13 stars, and the pyramid in the eye of Providence has 13 steps. Number four, no forge fiber. You have probably noticed the vibrant blue security strips on the new $100 bill. But did you know that all dollar bills except singles have a hidden security thread like this? It is one of the biggest secrets that is keeping counterfeiters at bay and the technology for them is constantly improving. These threads that can only be seen using ultraviolet light are embedded in the fibers of the bills and placed at different locations depending on the bill's denomination. Each bill also has its own special color. The thread on a $5 bill is blue, it's orange on a 10, green on a 20, yellow on a 50, and in addition to the visible blue one on a $100 bill, there is a hidden one to the left of Benjamin Franklin's face that is purple. Speaking of the blue 3D strip that is on the old C note, the treasury may start putting these strips on all denominations in the future as it is proven so incredibly difficult to replicate by counterfeiters. One of the main reasons why the thread is so effective is that it's holographic. If you bend the bill back and forth, you will see the tiny 100s labeled on the thread turn into the Liberty Bell. Number three, Eye of Providence. One of the most thought-provoking elements of the dollar bill is that of the Eye of Providence. Not only is it considered a blatant acknowledgement that the treasury and our country is run by the Freemasonry, but also apparently it has satanic imagery in it as well. We will start off with the historic reasoning behind the symbol. This image, also known as the Eye of God or the All-Seeing Eye, and has been using in several forms by Christians for hundreds of years, well before the founding of the United States. The triangle border around the eye is meant to represent the Holy Trinity. You can see uses of this eye in churches, cathedrals, and government buildings dating back to the Holy Roman Empire. The symbol has been mainly used to signify that whatever the eye is ablazoned on has the blessing of God. Now it is true that the symbol has been used by the Freemasons since 1797, but the problem is the use of the eye of providence on the great seal predates this by five years. Still, theorists suggest that the link is no coincidence. There are also several theories that suggest that when you draw lines from the A to the S in Annuit Coeptus to the letter O in Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then back to form a triangle, and then highlight the outline of the pyramid, that a pentagram is made, aka Satan's favorite shape. Not only that, but when you add the letters that the bottom corners of the pyramid are touching, N and M to A, 
O and S, it spells out Mason. Number two, security stars. You have probably seen this next extremely important secret but not realized it. What is known as the E. Orion constellation is a set of five small rings that are placed next to each other and look similar to that of Orion's belt. The word E. Orion is a portmanteau of Euro and Orion. This marker is not only on most US paper currency, but on many bank notes throughout the world. This constellation is used as an indicator that the bill is in fact real currency for several types of machines. Its main function is to recognize the banknote and stop the machine from copying it. The pattern has mysterious origins as no one outside of those who were producing currency were aware of its existence until 2002 when a security researcher was trying to figure out why his color copier wouldn't copy a banknote for 10 euros. All the signs point to it first being implemented in the late 1990s as a Japanese company released a patent for the design and correlating detection algorithm in 1995. If you have a $20 bill on hand, you can find E. Ryan constellations hiding in the miniature 20s on the back left side. Number 1. Super Eagle The proud American bald eagle of the Great Seal is one of the most analyzed and dissected parts of the $1 bill. Though some of the theories surrounding the imagery in the depiction of this majestic bird are radical, some of the hidden meanings are intentional. We'll start with the history. You may have wondered why the shield in front of the eagle seems to be floating in midair. Well, this was designed to represent the idea that the U.S. citizens should be self-sufficient. On the shield, the lines going up and down are meant to stand for the states, while the bars going side to side are for the federal government which binds the states together. In the eagle's clutches are a branch of olives on one side and arrows on the others. These symbolize the balance of war and peace. Initially, the arrows were in the eagle's left talon, the side that the eagle was facing, but the press and politicians over in Europe were fearful that this showed the US's true intentions. So instead of arguing with them, they switched the sides the olive branch and arrows were on. There are also theories that suggest the nine tail feathers on the eagle represent the nine spheres of heaven, which is part of Illuminati lore. 